Hello everyone. Moving forward with the network security series. The topics we are going to cover now are netcat, socat, ncat and cryptcat. These are basically network vulnerability scanning tools. Let us see what they are one by one. First, what exactly is netcat? It is often referred to as the Swiss army knife. Why Swiss army knife? A Swiss army knife looks somewhat like this. Apart from knife, you have other utilities like a scissor, a screwdriver, a bulb. Many such utilities are present in just one knife. And that that is the reason it is known it is compared to a Swiss army knife because of its multifunctionalities. Let us see what these functionalities are. So netcat's functionality is helpful as both standalone program as well as a backend tool in a wide range of applications. Its uses are it is used for port scanning, transferring files, grabbing banners. Okay, let's see what basically grabbing banners mean. Grabbing banner basically means it is a technique used to gain information about a computer system on a network and the services running on its open ports. So basically gaining information about a computer system on the network and the services running on its open ports is basically banner grabbing. Coming to the other uses, it is used for port listening and redirection, opening remote shells to even setting up a honey spot honeypot creating a backdoor it is used for creating a backdoor which can be used by ha hackers to access the system so it is used for creating a backdoor on a host machine for allowing shell access to the hacker to take over the computer the target computer it can serve both as a client and as well as a server how let us now see an example step 1 on the console, use the following command nc minus l. L stands for listening, and 1234 is the basically port number. nc is now listening on port 1234 for a connection. Once you run this command, this would be the result. Step 2. On the second console or on a second machine, you can connect to the first machine by using the machine and port number that is listened from. So machine would be the IP address and port number which is being listened on that we used previously. Same port number you will use here and now this machine or this console will be able to make a contact with our previous console. There should now be a connection between the different ports. In our next video, we will be covering the SOCAT topic. Until then, thank you very much. If you like the video you just saw, please consider hitting the like button and letting us know. Also, subscribe to our channel and share the video with your friends. Stay awesome and see you next time.